tonight at Corrington. It's the Gibbs Eagles hosting your Campbell County Cougars. Gibbs comes in 5-0. and The Cougars 2-4 and after Saturday's big win up at Gray over the Boone Blazers. And, Coach, I heard you give that shout-out to the Roll Tide on the postgame Saturday. <laughs> I might ought to be quiet. <laughs> we about lost that one, but that was a good ball game, good college game, good game to watch. You've been an Alabama fan for a long time. What influence has Alabama football had on your playing career and your coaching career, if any? Well, they've had a bunch. Ever since I was a little guy, my whole family, extended family, has been Alabama fans, so we used to go down and watch – Alabama in spring practice my dad was a coach and we'd go down and spend a week and I got to sit in coach Bryant's office and talk to him so it was a unique experience ever since then I've been I've been uh, hooked on them and uh, uh, you know even through the thin years when there was some not so good Alabama teams but but uh, uh, great college atmosphere the other night and excited about uh, you know college football as a whole I think it's the best game there is. Well, I guess since you were baptized in Tuscaloosa, we can't hold that against you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Coach, uh, your win on Saturday, a day game, kind of a special, maybe a fun day for your, you and your team. Uh, come away with a win. You had to hang on there at the end, but uh, a win nonetheless. Well, anytime you can get a win, that's a fun day. Uh, I thought our guys played a lot better. Uh, we made some plays when we had to. Had some big fourth downs we got on offense. Had some big stops defensively. So, um, improvement was what happened so so we're excited about that and hopefully we can keep improving as as the weeks go on a lot of school players stood out in the game on saturday obviously but i, I thought your game was won there in the trenches i thought your line played to play the difference made the difference saturday i think so we rushed i think for 336 yards which was that's where we need to be we need to be in that you know 300 to 400 yard range so so uh, proud of them the improvement they've made i thought there was some nice holes in there and we had some backs that made some good runs it broke some tackles that uh, gavin owens had a had a big game with 180 yards i think rushing and a touchdown and and um you know keegan cowan i think had two touchdowns uh, on the trap inside uh, when we got down close to the goal line and then uh, timmy gibson had some good runs so so uh, those guys all contributed and did a good job. But the guys up front are what makes us go, and, and uh, I think they did a good job, and um, we've improved a ton from where we were at. So hopefully we can keep it rolling. Josh Ramsey and Timmy Gibson, I thought, were the keys to maybe springing Gavin Owens on that 72-yard run, but Gavin did so much on that run. He broke a bunch of tackles is what he did. He made a lot of people miss, and uh, he bounced it outside from the original hole, and and uh, made a heck of a run and uh, probably ran 150 yards to score <laughs> weaving back and forth but uh, is, a, is a big play in the ball game. Tonight a big opportunity you're playing a team that's undefeated how special is that to have a chance to knock somebody off tonight? Well you know I've been, been fortunate to be able to, to coach against uh, and play against Gibbs several times the guy that's the head coach was actually in my youth uh, Catholic Youth Football League when I was head coach at Catholic. Great guy. Does a great job over there. He does a really good coaching job. they got great kids. Um, really good football team. They, they, uh, they, uh, they're they on a roll right now. So uh, they've had a week off to prepare. So so uh, we're going into a hornet's nest, but uh, wouldn't want to have it any other way. Well, as you know, it's certainly quite uh, the ultimate atmosphere it gives for football. It is. They do a good job over there. And um, I think they've redone their stadium here in the last few years, and uh, uh, we're certainly uh, looking forward to going over and competing. The first time I went to Gibbs, I was a bit surprised. Folks come in on Thursday nights with blankets and other items and claim their spots in the bleachers. That's dedication. <laughs> that is dedication. That, that's a sign that it means a lot to the, to the community, and uh, you know that's where you want to get it to that point, just like they've got it. What will Gibbs do tonight that uh, may or may not surprise you? Well, I mean, they like to run the football. They're they're a run football team, but they can throw it. They've got a quarterback that's elusive. They've got some really good skilled players. They'll spread you out, and then they'll, then they'll bunch you up and run the triple, run the option. So, so um, very versatile offensive team, defensively aggressive. They play a lot of man coverage in the secondary. Uh, like to bring pressure uh, so so it's a it's an athletic team we're gonna have to try to control the clock like we always do or try to and uh, keep it away from them and uh, and and limit their possessions 
He had an almost eight-minute drive on Saturday. I was thinking, boy, this is Mark Pemberton football right here. That's what we need to do. That's 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 what we've been trying to get to the course of the year. So, so uh, if we can continue to do that, that's that's the name of the game. That keeps it out of the other team's hands offensively, and uh, and it burns that clock. Who might be back tonight that we missed for some time? Anybody? I don't know that there'll be anybody back. We've lost a couple uh, that uh, Timmy Gibson won't play. He had a little episode there after the game. I think it was resulted from maybe dehydration or something like that. So we're going to hold him probably another this week. He won't play. Austin Jordan won't play again. He didn't play last week. Um, we've had a couple of our backups that are banged up a little bit. But uh, for the most part, with our ones, uh, we'll probably be good to go. Jack Stukesbury, a freshman, came in and gave you some good minutes on Saturday. He did. He came in for Gaylor. Gaylor had a little shoulder problem, so Stukesbury came in and got him some playing time as a freshman. We had freshmen make plays all over the field, to be honest. Uh, he came in and, and played the whole, just about the whole game. It wasn't, I think it was before the half he came in maybe. So so uh, he came in and did a good job. You know, he's still young, still not as strong as he needs to be, but he's, he's going to be a good player for us down the road. Campbell County and Gibbs tonight. The Cougars 2-4, and four, Gibbs 5-0. and oh. Coach, we wish you well tonight. Hope you have fun. We'll see you after the game. I appreciate it. Coach Mark Pemberton and the Cougars coming up here in just moments on the WLAF Dulles Tire Shop Sports Network. <laughs> 